What's up everybody, welcome to Money Management Channel. My name is Andrei and today I'm going to be doing an update on Baba Ticker. And in today's video, first of all, I will show you where we are on the price chart and how we get there. Then we will continue with the fundamental news that might affect the price of this company. And at the end of this video, I will share my thoughts and my technical analysis. And I will show you what you do expect from the price action. So let's start with the price chart. I made my previous video right here at this very top and I've told you that uh, we finished all five waves structure and uh, you all know that uh, five waves on a smaller scale it is only one wave on a greater scale. This means we have to retrace the entire movement from this bottom to this top and uh, basically it happened exactly as I predicted and I have to say that I nailed uh, the majority of movements uh, of uh, this uh, ticker. It is what it is, you just can rely on my analysis as a part of your due diligence. So what to expect next uh, from the upcoming price action I will show you in my technical analysis. And for now let's continue with the fundamentals of this company. First of all let's start with the company profile. For those of you who don't know, Alibaba Group Holding Limited through its subsidiaries provides technology infrastructure and marketing reach to merchants, brands, retailers and other businesses to engage with their users and customers in the People's Republic of China and internationally. And uh, as already mentioned and I covered it multiple times, this company from the financial standpoint is extremely stable. It has a total market cap of uh, 481.73 billion dollars. The PE ratio is still extremely attractive of about 21.17 and uh, compared to for example Amazon's uh, PE ratio that is about uh, 56 uh, points, this PE ratio is extremely undervalued. So, they have a revenue of 119.14 billion dollars. They have very good revenue growth of 40.24% compared to their market cap. And uh, they have a net income of 22.94 billion dollars. They, their cash position also extremely strong and they have uh, 74.86 billion dollars. And from the financial standpoint, no doubts that this company is extremely stable. But we have a recent uh, sell-off, as you can see, from this top uh, to our current price we have about 7.5%. Uh, uh, and uh, we don't have much news. Uh, if uh, you type uh, in uh, Google search string uh, Baba stock, you won't see any uh, recent news uh, that uh, might affect uh, the price uh, of this company. We just have uh, general news and that's why uh, without any news that might positively affect the price, uh, technically, all assets uh, moves down. So, and let me show you several articles that was published uh, uh, just a couple of days ago on uh, Seeking Alpha. And uh, one of them is titled, Is Alibaba stock a buy or sell before upcoming earnings? And this article was written by Jonathan Weber. And let me quote you the summary. Alibaba has seen its shares greater over the last year, although they have rebounded nicely from the 52-week low. Alibaba will report its Q2 results in early November. Investors uh, can expect strong business growth and another revenue beat uh, seems likely. There are considerable risks that should not be ignored, but the potential returns uh, justify owning Baba nevertheless, I believe. And uh, I will put uh, the links on uh, this article in the description below. This article is uh, very interesting and this article is very interesting as well. And I want to quote you this uh, summary on top of the uh, previous one. Alek uh, Kambayev uh, wrote that Alibaba presented a new server chip uh, that's based on advanced 5 nanometer technology. The production of uh, its own chips uh, could strengthen uh, the company's uh, immunity to the actions uh, of the Chinese regulator. Evergrande is now the focus of attention in a negative context. The topic of Alibaba and regulatory risks have faded into the background. The technical picture has improved significantly. And I completely agree with Oleg because uh, I uh, can prove you that technical picture is really impressive for now. And uh, this uh, first bullet is also extremely important because in the long term uh, this will benefit this company the most uh, because uh, in my opinion the share of uh, their cloud uh, part of uh, the business is uh, growing and uh, it's uh, growing rapidly. That is why this is the next uh, point of uh, their growth and the total addressable market of uh, this uh, service is uh, really impressive. 
So, and uh, let me show you one more article. This article was published on Yahoo Finance and uh, it's titled Alibaba has lost $344 billion in world's biggest wipeout. And uh, as you can see, Alibaba is on the first place and uh, other companies lost uh, not uh, so significant uh, amounts of money, but still really impressive. But this number is really huge and uh, with their amazing fundamentals with their amazing figures uh, on their balance sheet this is just a discount huge discount that might be once in a lifetime so and uh, let me show you the forecast from tip ranks we still have uh, 25 ratings and uh, 23 of them suggest to buy this uh, share one suggests to hold and one suggests to sell and the price targets are the same the lower end is 190 dollars and the high level is 330 dollars and to the average price we have about 43 percent of upside potential so the numbers are still impressive we don't have uh, much news related to this company and that's why we just have to be cautious but from the technical standpoint this company is also amazing and before we dive deep into the technical analysis please subscribe to my channel hit notification bell and hit the like button this helps me a lot so guys first of all uh, let me remind you that uh, we broke previous swing high uh, this uh, top of the sea uh, retracement uh, point and uh, with this uh, price action we pretty much confirmed that uh, this asset is uh, really bullish and we have uh, five waves structure clear five waves structure this means this movement to the upside is uh, potentially a start of a new uptrend and if we land uh, this price action at the ranges of uh, from 0.382 to 0.5 and from these points somewhere here we might have a bounce this will indicate uh, that we are more bullish and when we exceed the, the, this uh, top, the top of our, uh, for now, fifth wave and this scale, we will be officially on the uptrend and uh, this will be a signal for the majority of institutional investors and for the majority of uh, technical traders to enter their position. So, what should you expect uh, from the price action? As I already mentioned, we have to land at the ranges uh, from 0.3A2 and it is uh, $165 through 0.5, $160 and uh, to potentially 0.65, the golden pocket. And it is uh, $155. And this means you can accumulate your position if you want to enter the position with this uh, company or you can add your position. And these points are very technical and it might be a huge opportunity to enter or add to your position with this ticker. So, I think from the technical standpoint that's it for now. We still have uh, the same uh, price targets and our recent one is uh, uh, this one. And uh, let me show you right here. We might have about 35% uh, to this swing high and in my opinion we might achieve it uh, right after their earnings report uh, by the end of November, I think. That's why it is very, very good asset uh, to put uh, into your portfolio. And uh, if you like my video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel with notification bell. And see you guys and girls next time. Bye.